Have you ever been angry or felt yourself waking up being moody and you just don't know why? Well, today we have a special guest with us and it is Jeannie Calabrita. And Jeannie Calabrita is here with us today because Jeannie is an awesome naturopathic doctor. She also is a natural health practitioner. She has her degree in applied sciences and also she is certified as a certified Meridian Stress Assessment Technician along with being a certified aromatherapist of my school, the Lori Hargis International School of Aromatherapy. And so Jeannie, I wanna thank you so much for being here with us today. And could you give us some background of really, you know, how did you get started in, in, with flower essences? Well, first I wanna say thank you, Lori, for having me on. It's a great privilege to learn from you and I have really, really enjoyed the school. And every day it seems like I use something from your school. So I just wanna put that plug in. Oh, thank you so <laughs> much, awesome. I appreciate it. <laughs> but um, I was doing my certified uh, CNHP, certified health, um, practitioner uh, class and that whole class was on flower essences and they had all the kit there and for that like two three days they went through all the different flower essences and so at the end everybody blended their own and took it home well I didn't buy the kit that day but I got home and I didn't think I really needed the kit and when I started using it, I'm like oh wow I have got to have this kit so I talked to my husband, he goes, okay, go ahead. And so I got it and I started using, I was working out of a salon then. And so <clears throat> when I did that, um, I started introducing it to the staff. And one of the gals said that she normally was a certain way with her boyfriend and she started taking those. And he goes, okay, what have you done with my girlfriend? <laughs> she changed so much. And so I'm like, that's crazy incredible. So then I started blending for an Iraqi vet that looked like Eeyore, and I explained that on the the uh, webinar presentation. But wow, what a change. And so now I use it so much, and I've used it in case studies. I've used it with the city. I explain how I use it all in animals. I mean, it works so fast for anybody, even plants. So uh, it just works really, really well. and. I have formulated now a grief formulation too. And I have blended so many bottles of that with COVID. People have lost sons, they've lost husbands and they start using that and they're like, wow, it really makes a huge difference immediately. And, and I know that the essential oils are really good and they work well, but I say flower essences are the best kept secret in the industry. People don't know about them. If they knew about them, they would use them and they'd use them every day because they really balance the emotions. And when you're feeling like, you know, you just want to hide because you figure you're going to bite somebody's head off. It really works and it works quickly and it can turn things around almost immediately. Mm -hmm. So I go through the, the 38 and then I also do one that I learned from your school, which everybody really enjoyed. <laughs> And so I go through those and as I'm going through, each one has a different take on health for different health issues. So you can add that to your regimen if you're dealing with a certain issue and it really helps with that. And you add your essential oils, your flower essences, and then your herbals or homeopathics. And then you've got a really strong base for your body to have balance. And then I go through empaths and how we can take up other people's energies. And I go through several pages of what it is. And then I have a blend that God gave me for that as well. And that's the one that I ended up as I talked to the practitioners in Utah last fall, the national conference there for Quest 4. I, at the end of it, I gave away a bottle. And so I always pray that the person that needs it most is the one that gets it. And so the next presenter was the one that got the bottle. 
And so <clears throat> he came to me after and he said he sat down and he succussed it the 21 times like I told him on the pompous hand. And then he said he took it because he was so nervous. He'd never presented before. And this was the first time for me as well. He was so nervous. He took that flower essence and he said, I got up and he's like, wow, my nervousness is gone. <laughs> I can actually teach and not feel like I'm going to stutter all over my words. And so he was so thankful. And so that was, that was really a, a great moment there. And then after people were coming up, asking all kinds of questions and it was just a great time. And so I, I have some unconventional, I guess I'd say teaching methods to keep people engaged because an hour and a half is a long time, but people sat there engaged for that whole time. I was amazed and it just flew by. So, so anyway, I, I, it's I'm glad fun. to hear this because um, most people who work, you know, in natural health, not everybody, but most of them are impacts. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is a very important part uh, of this workshop that you're going to be talking about and speaking about. And I, I, you know, boundaries and empathic boundaries are very important. And because flower essences are working on our energy field, they're really helping us with that. And I think that's like you said, it is the, the best kept secret. It's something that uh, in normal conventional people, they maybe use rescue remedy. You know, you go mm -hmm. to a health food store, that's basically all you can find. Mm -hmm. And you say, hey, you know, there's, I mean, there's all the 38s of box like you're going to be talking mm -hmm. about. And you can do so many things with those, as you're saying. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, really dialing down uh, what these uh, natural health practitioners need, aromatherapist, naturopathic doctors, doctors and nurses too. Mm -hmm. So that way you don't take on all that every day. You can come home and, and still be all right. And I think this is something that you're really diving into and going to be very specific with us during this coming um, workshop that you're going to be doing for us on uh, May 23rd. Is it May 24th? May 24th. Yes, May 24th, that's right. So, you know, um, flower essences for me have been just phenomenal. Uh, they have really changed I've seen people's lives really change because of them mm -hmm. as you said they really mm -hmm. do if people take them and use them on a regular basis um, I recently was talking to someone and I said well are you using you know your rescue remedy because they were really anxious and nervous and stuff and mm -hmm. she said well no I'm not I said did you realize that you know you can take them as often as needed when you're in an acute situation and mm -hmm. this is what's so great about them is there's no toxicity exactly and there's no indications or contraindications with medications so they're mm -hmm. safe for anybody yeah and that, pregnant women children exactly babies i blended for all kinds and um and they all get results yeah. it's not oh hit and miss i mean they all feel a difference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And especially if you get the right one it nails it and yes. so I go through and explain what each one does and how it works. And I have one that takes care of moles on your skin, which um, I explained that in the webinar and how that came about. So it is quite interesting to put it all together. But if you're a practitioner and you're not using the flower essences, you're missing out big time yeah. because those are God's, you know, blessing to all of us to balance our energetic field and i i liken our energetic field to like it runs parallel to the physical but we get um, energetic holes in our field and these will help patch that area up and that mm -hmm. makes a huge difference and we we take on other people's energies all the time and i see that when i run the quest i'll run um their um, emotional panels and mm -hmm. it will say um, such and such is attached to their lymphatic system or their muscles or whatever and then it will say what it is who caused it and um, it will say what kind of factors evil factors or whatever and then it will have an affirmation so I work with people on emotional releases and that is huge 
-hmm. and if they can get rid of those emotional um baggage i guess you call it that they're mm -hmm. hauling no, around like every day on you, you know exactly mm -hmm. and they're just hauling that around every day if, and and they feel amazing when they get rid of that mm -hmm. and they feel like they're 100 pounds lighter <laughs> Mm -hmm. and they yeah, are energetically they are you're right and you know it's interesting one day my son and i were you know speaking of having you know your stuff right mm -hmm. well if you look at people on the street they're showing their stuff right there in front of you in their yeah. in their grocery cart right mm -hmm. but all of us we've got it all here energetically we're not showing it right mm -hmm. they are but we aren't and my son and i were talking about that as he was driving mm -hmm. the and I said, yeah, energetically, we are carrying our stuff too, just mm -hmm. like they are. It's no different. Yeah. And flower essences are, like you said, are so phenomenal for that, of just mm -hmm. lighting you up, you know, letting it all go, letting it out of that energy field. It's a beautiful experience to use them. And During I COVID, I wanted to just take a bunch of it and spray <laughs> it around everywhere. <laughs> yes. Because people are so that. like, rawr. Yes, and speaking of that, uh, the ways you can use them in so many different ways. People think you just take them under your tongue and you're going to show them how they can use them in so many different ways. Oh, there's of ways to use them. And I did use them in the case study that I did yes. with you. And that was um, a lady that was really struggling. And her husband got so worried because she would literally just scream and be like out of control. And he's like, I don't know how to help her. And so. Um, I did a, a blend for her and a, a, a flower essences as well and really, really helped her a lot. And she has since lost her husband, which was really sad. Um, he was doing well, supposed to come out, and then all of a sudden he was gone. Uh, we Aww. went that night and they had given him some kind of medication which shouldn't have affected him that way. It wasn't like some of these really bad drugs. but. All of a sudden, um, the next day was gone, and oh. she was totally unprepared for that. And so I blended that grief blend, and she since asked for two or three more bottles because she said it made such a difference. And her sister had actually lost her husband like two months before that, so they had a lot in common. So I blended her one as well, and it's been such a blessing. So. I go through that and how I blended it and and how it's been helpful to people because they need help, you know. Oh, yes, they do. Some things we I tell people, and I was just saying this today to own gal that lost her nephew. I said some people, uh, when they're going through things, you never get over some things. But with baby steps, you can get beyond it and mm -hmm. you can have life. But mm -hmm. it takes time. Mm -hmm. And the flower essences are a big, big part of that if, if people know how to use them. And so mm -hmm. knowledge is power. And yes, you know I totally use agree. Things. Mm -hmm. and, and this grief is, you know, that's why we just finished the, the Master Essential Oil class on anxiety, yes. depression, and PTSD with all of your mm -hmm. case studies and, and your case study on this moodiness and anger. Because, you know, we were put in a situation where we were basically, uh, you know, imprisoned in our own homes. Yes. And so that, that causes a lot of different emotions to come up that we mm -hmm. hadn't had, we hadn't ever had to be like that. So mm -hmm. we're in a whole new landscape, right? And then yes. we had all these people that we knew who passed away. And like mm -hmm. you said, this grief relief is just wonderful because we all mm -hmm. need help with that we've all had yes. some kind of grief losing mm -hmm. a friend uh, maybe it was maybe we had to move or you know mm -hmm. to somewhere else because of mm -hmm. now our we lost our jobs grieving our mm -hmm. loss of our jobs so many different things happen some people got divorced during that time yes because they couldn't be locked down together mm -hmm. you know there was just a lot of things that happened and now we're seeing the repercussions yes. and by taking this class they are going to be able to help themselves even more and it'll be so easy once they yeah. understand each one and each one has its own personality and you go through that it is just phenomenal how it all works and then i do a little section on pets too and um, i pulled out a few um, actual 
case studies of animals and how they were helped. And it's pretty phenomenal. And I go through the Bosch flower, how he ended up, you know, um, working with those and that kind of thing. A little bit of history as well, because it's nice to know how things actually came about. So mm -hmm. I give a little background on that as well. So yeah, that's really important. You you need to know the history and, and the story behind it, so you understand mm -hmm. what what is the reason why this guy did what he did. Why did he quit his job completely and start just going yes. out into nature? You know, because <laughs> he was a very <laughs> successful surgeon. You know, so it's pretty neat to say to the medical community, you know, these were developed by a, a top surgeon of his day, mm -hmm. so that they realize that this really is has merit. So, mm -hmm. and it really does. It's amazing. It really does. And the thing is, is, you know, he was a surgeon and what he kept saying is no matter how many gallbladders I took out, people were still angry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the other thing was he'd have one treatment for 10 people and only maybe half of them or maybe a third of them, they'd see good results. Mm -hmm. And he wanted something across the board that worked for everyone. And yeah, so yeah. when he started using these, he could see the difference immediately, mm -hmm. which a lot, you know, people in this instant society, that's what they want. They want it yesterday. People yes. aren't willing to <laughs> do the work or, you know, stay away from whatever they need to stay away from or build in their lives the things that they need to, to be a success. And this mm -hmm. gives them the courage to do it. And uh, some I think that's a good stamina. Point about the courage and the stamina because mm -hmm. there are those ones and, and that's what's going to be exciting is because we're not going to tell them which ones those are so they can, <laughs> they can learn in the class, right? Because you know, yes. you and I start spouting off all this stuff here, but they need exactly. to come to the class. I think it's a good point you made about animals and about plants because animals and plants, the only, the only way you know it works is because you see their reaction, their response. Exactly. There's no placebo effect with them. <laughs> no. And I make that point in the presentation because when you use them and they work that quickly, then you know that there's something more there. It's not just all in your head. Like I was mm -hmm. told when I was a kid and I had some viral something or other and I'd have like gagging. And when the, my dad would finally get my tongue in my mouth and my turn head my head turned I would be asleep and they couldn't figure out what it was and so he sent me to the shrink you know and he goes oh it's all in her head and my mom goes I know my daughter there's no way it's all in her head <laughs> so with animals there's no way yeah there's just it no works way. or it doesn't yeah and um, you, you can can't psych them, them out <laughs> yeah you can't psych them out of that one <laughs> uh. Yeah, and, and that's what's so great about them, too, is they're easy to use. You don't have to worry about mm -hmm. contraindications with your animals yes, either. Yes, exactly. Super. So, you know, I, I really believe that everybody needs to come to this, this class. Everybody. I don't care what walk of life you come from because this isn't something that's important. You know, for me, I start just using it on myself and my family. Mm -hmm. Then my sister, you know, she could see how it was helping my kids. Mm. And she started using them, my sister-in-law, my friends, and that's just how it started happening, right? Mm -hmm. So anybody can do this. It's very simple, easy, uh, and it's it's a nice way to start in uh, natural health, too, if you're just a beginner. And mm -hmm. then if you're already using them, this class is going to be great for you, too, because she's going to give you blends that she's been using on her clients in her case studies, all mm -hmm. these things. So you guys are going to get some great new information and some new flower essence blends. And we're, I'm, I'm very excited to be able to share this with them. And this is the month, Flower Power Month, remember? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we're sharing about flower power. And um, it's also uh, Grief Relief Month. It's May, it's mothers, mm -hmm. you know, it's about our mothers. It's, it's a lot mm -hmm. of of heartfelt yes. uh, things this month in May. And I really think that it's important that people get this information. And I want to thank you so much for offering it and saying, hey, Lori, I would love to do a flower essence class. You know, it's just awesome. <laughs> Setting all this up because I know it's work, but 
I love to teach and it's and it'll be fun to do some question and answers after if people have those as well but the nice thing about this is you really can't mess up so anybody that's scared oh I'm gonna mess up you really can't with this as long as you just follow the basic protocol it's not rocket science it's very very easy mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. easy to see results immediately and that's what's encouraging and I started doing the classes in town here and people absolutely loved it. I, oh, I awesome. did it three times before because I wanted the practice for right? the right? professionals, you know, in front of them. And, and every time I got really positive feedback from it. And then the practitioners, even season one said, wow, I learned things from this class. So mm -hmm. that was encouraging to me mm -hmm. because you want to have something for everybody. Yes. And this class really is uh, it has something for everybody. So you're out there, you've never used flower essences. You need to come and find out what really a flower essences is, how to use them, the history behind it. Then she's going to give you some great formulations. If you already are using them, you still need to come because you're going to learn some things that from her practice and for what she's been doing all these years, all her experiences, you're going to learn a lot with her formulation. So it's for everybody. And we can't wait to have you guys there. It's going to be May 24th, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's called Creating Emotional Balance with Flower Essences. So we want to make sure that you guys get signed up. There'll be a link below this video here of Jeannie and I. And Jeannie, I want to thank you so much for doing this. And I'm very excited to see all of our students. Now, there is seating limited. The seats are limited, so make sure you get signed up as soon as possible. And the class is this Tuesday, uh, May 24th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you, Lori. Oh, thank you so much. And we'll talk soon. I'll see you on May 24th at 1 p.m. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye now. <laughs>